I'm sure we can work this out reasonably. Please, Master Volney. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Volney. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lord Iduken, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Iduken, Paragon King, Peacemaker. The King, as well as several other lords, are quite fond of his work. He writes of the ancient Paragons. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. Of course not. No, please, I... That man had the patronage of many powerful houses. Nothing we can't handle. Excuse me, your highness. He's a fool, and a low-placed one at that. House Mino was that scholar's patron. They will crush House Volney like a warrior treading upon a centipede. It doesn't matter, it's all lies. My work tells the stories of all those raised to Paragons in the last 500 years. When the Assembly names a Paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. But Paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Idukin was much loved, but he was still a man. He was plagued by melancholy, and his fervor regarding Orzammar's safety bordered on obsession. When Idukin was proposed as a paragon, only one lord in the assembly objected. The others savagely hacked him to death. Idukin's motion passed without a single dissenting vote. Unlike Volney, is that what you mean, old man? Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it, and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon Iduken? Do not order me about like some low-caste peon. This is not finished. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lord? Understood. You've shown yourself more daring and aggressive today than most believed of you. Someday I hope to write of the great exploits you are sure to perform. Word has been sent. He won't live past the hour. You've shown House Iduken a friend to research, history, and the glory of our people. Of course, heroism and pity for the small man have always been hallmarks of House Iduken. Now, I must try to make sense of these notes. Good day, Your Highness, and thank you.